Mercedes-Benz is a well-respected name in the automobile industry and is known for its superior quality. But how much do you really know about the famous car brand? You're watching Business Stories, and in today's video, we'll be taking a closer look at Mercedes-Benz. Based in Stuttgart, Germany, the company was founded in 1926. The origin of its name can be traced back to the creator of the first gasoline-powered motor wagon, Karl Benz and the daughter of Austrian diplomat and racing enthusiast, Emil Jelinek. Jelinek used his daughter's name, Mercedes, as a pseudonym while racing, and used it to promote vehicle models. He worked alongside Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach for car manufacturer DMG. Upon teaming up with Carl Benz's own company, they would come to form the Mercedes-Benz group we know today. As well as a diplomat, Jelinek was also a businessman. He mixed with the highest members of European society, which included the wealthy Rothschild family, and would advertise the Daimler-built, horseless automobiles to them. Carl Benz, on the other hand, was largely funded by his wife, Bertha. While Carl was the first person ever to own a driver's license, Bertha and their two sons took the first ever road trip in a modern car, a 209-kilometer, 130-mile round trip. Of course, passenger cars are just one aspect of the business. Mercedes-Benz has a great track record when it comes to motorsport. In fact, the signature silver color of the logo and many of their cars comes from an incident at the Nürburgring racetrack in 1934. A white Mercedes-Benz race car needed to lose one kilogram of weight to be able to race. So the team manager had the paint ground off to reveal a shiny silver aluminium body. The car competed and ended up actually winning the race, cementing an iconic color into the history books. During the 1930s, the Mercedes-Benz 770 model came to prominence in Nazi Germany. It was used by many top-ranking Nazi officials, including Hermann Göring, Heinrich Himmler and Adolf Hitler. Under the regime, 46,000 laborers were forced to work in Mercedes-Benz's factories for the war effort. Years later, the company paid $12 million in reparations to their families. As a reminder and statement of intent, the company's motto is the best or nothing. Their logo, the three-pointed star within a circle, is said to represent Mercedes-Benz's drive towards global domination of the land, sea and skies. Their engines are not only used in cars but in boats and planes too, and they aim to be the market leader in all three areas. They even considered adding a fourth point to the star to represent space, but ultimately decided against it. With that kind of vision though, you can understand why certain powerful leaders have supported the brand's efforts in the past. And their plans are not that far-fetched either. Mercedes-Benz is one of the most recognized automotive manufacturers in the world. In 2018, they were the largest seller of premium vehicles worldwide, with a total of 2.31 million passenger cars sold. The company continues to build upon its impressive legacy by introducing technological and safety innovations that often become the standard for other vehicle companies to follow. For example, they were the first car company to have brakes and suspension on all four wheels. They were also the first to build safety crumple zones into an automobile. And while self-driving cars may be common in the near future, Mercedes-Benz have been designing them since the 1990s. Their engineering prowess is outstanding, and as a result, Mercedes-Benz attracts some of the world's most skilled engineers. Did you know Mercedes-Benz vehicles are manufactured in 30 different countries around the world? The first car in the country of Nepal was a Mercedes-Benz II, given to its king in 1940. What's your opinion of Mercedes-Benz, and which business story would you like to see us cover in future? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video interesting, Please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.